you feel like you're constantly the one that's like, do you have a condom? Like, all the time. My personal preference is to not use a condom. For me, it's down to a prompt from my sexual partner. It's rare for a boy to be like, should I wear a condom? I feel like they'll just try it, like, if you don't mention it, they're like, yes, and they'll just, like, go for it. Yeah. I quite like bareback sex. Sex without a condom, basically. With new partners, I'll consistently use condoms. I personally think, in general, most people would prefer not to use a condom. Some boys are like, I'd rather not do it than wear a condom. It's like a black male technique. This smells gross. It smells like fish. Fish. <laughs> General reaction is kind of like, I don't want to wear one. I do feel like it can disrupt the flow of things. It's uncomfortable for me. It's not, it's not as enjoyable for me. I don't like the feel of them. Um, like, I'd rather not. My biggest pet peeve, I hate the smell of latex and rubber. No, I swear that even the scented one, it smells like rubber. And then there's like a few, I think there's like a few guys that are kind of a bit more kind of mature about it. I have to always think about the female's obviously opinion and preference. Exactly. My personal preference is no, I don't want to wear a condom. There's absolutely no appeal of me, for, to me, of sucking on a condom. Even the flavoured ones, they just not a huge fan of the taste. I'd rather just suck a dick, to be honest. People you've slept with, um, how many have been like readily willing to use a condom? I'd say like um, 10, 10, 20%. Yeah, yeah. So most not? Probably like 10 Most not, yeah. yeah. 16 to 24 year olds are our like crux in terms of like people who just don't like using condoms. There's a wide range of reasons but I'd probably say like the most common ones that I would hear would be I don't like the feel, something along the lines of got caught up in the moment and then I didn't have one. It's a lot less fun with them often, it's like you're having this really heated moment, it's great, it's just like all the movies. And you were like, hang on a second, let me just get this out. You've got to undo the packet, you've got to get it on, you've got to lube everything up. Then you've got to then start all over again and pray to God you're still hard. Uh, like when we got down to it, I said, are you going to wear a condom? And he was like, what? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, I don't have any in this room, so I'm gonna, you're going to make me go all the way downstairs to get one. And I was like, oh, yeah. Are you actually kidding me? Yeah, and then when he went downstairs, I was slide down, and I was like, Oh, oh, I don't want to do home. this anymore, yeah. like, you're a dick. Yeah, it just made me feel like shit. And it made, made you feel like a bit of job's worth asking him to get one. You felt like a job. Yeah, as in, like, you know, you have to... Bear like, caring on. about your own sexual health, how dare you? Yeah. For women who are... So, heterosexual women having um, heterosexual sex, uh, they find the sexual negotiation really difficult. So, they'll be like, oh... He didn't want to use a condom, so I didn't use a condom. I was really bad. I, didn't, I don't think I used any when I was single. <laughs> do you not feel like a lot of times like the responsibility is almost, it's almost seen like it should fall on the guy? Like, it's like you're expected to carry a condom or you're, you're expected to make sure that... But shouldn't it just be like a shared thing? Like? It's both of your responsibilities. It takes both people to make a decision to have sex. Um, and I think it's just about empowerment and a normalcy in saying, we're going to use a condom. It's not a question, it's just going to happen. The odd occasion where people have said, no, I don't want to use one, then I've just said, well, then I don't want to have um, penetrative sex then. I do feel there must be an awkwardness, I think, for females to ask a man, but I also feel like there's definitely an awkwardness on, on, on a guy's part, I don't know about you guys, but to even suggest it. If I feel like if you're really, like, full fright, it kind of, insinuates that you think you really need to wear one because the other person might not be be clean. Yeah, yeah. It feels like, it feels like the word like condom is kind of like stigmatised. Yeah. And I feel like sometimes girls are too um, like afraid to even like ask the question. I do agree it is an awkward conversation. I think um, maybe if I come across as confident when I'm asking the question, there's still a little bit of anxiety about oh, what are, what's going to be the reaction and how am I going to um, manage the situation. Condoms most definitely are the cornerstone of um, sort of barrier protection against all STIs and pregnancy, obviously. Have you ever had an STI? I have a list. 
<laughs> unfortunately. HIV, HPV, scabies, and gonorrhea. We came home drunk from a club once, went on my apps, went to a hotel, did bareback through the night. Three days later, I ended up getting a really bad stomach virus. Couldn't walk, couldn't eat. And luckily that meant I had sex with no one else. So I know for a fact that I haven't actually passed it on to anyone else. A little bit over a month after um, actually contracting it, I was diagnosed with HIV. Uh, got put straight on antiretroviral therapy. So I take three pills a day and after six months, I got down to undetectable, which basically means I can't pass it on. I get checked after every encounter I have without a condom. Have you ever had an STI? No. 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 I mean, you going to say that. No, 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 no but like, I've actually been blessed. Like, I've actually been blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Being single is living life on the edge though, isn't it? Ooh. It's a dangerous game. <laughs> I think if I'm single again, I need to really evaluate, go back to sex education or yeah, something. Come to me. Yeah, I'll teach you. It's a question of respect, really, like just making sure, making sure you're both on the same page, really. You got to gauge what's going on, innit? Yeah. You got to be like kind of tapped into the the energy, so to speak. I feel like it should be there shouldn't be any kind of fear around it. I feel all men should feel empowered enough to be like, nah, I want to wear one. And I think yeah, exactly, this, exact, right? exactly, exactly the same for yeah. females. Should be like, nah, I'm wearing one, and if yeah. you're not wearing one, then it's yeah. done. In terms of not using a condom, there is literally no excuse. So latex allergies, um, there are people who have latex allergies. You can use the latex-free condoms. If you don't like the feel, there are so many new products on, um, in terms of manufacturers producing them that you can use. People sometimes, um, it's not often, but sometimes will say like, oh, it's too expensive. And it's like, I'll give you free ones. <laughs> There's no excuse. <laughs> if you plan to have sex with one person, and you've already had a sexual health test and everything's clear, you don't need to use the condom anymore. If you want to continue to have lots of multiple sexual partners, that's totally fine, but you really, really need to make sure that you're protecting yourself.